I've been on a journey for quite a while and I think it will probably never end as I keep going. It led me to all kinds of different places, really wonderful ones, full of colors and beauty, brightness and warmth. Also enchanted ones that appeared to be like a magical fairy tale in which everything was so alive and awake. But on the other side, I found myself in lost and awful places, weird and confusing ones, and also I looked into the dark abyss that felt so cold with no way out. And of course, there were all kinds of nuances in between. You know, painting reveals very interesting aspects, especially painting a portrait, but actually it's not all about what I paint, of course that plays an important role, but besides, it's the craft itself that is very personal to me, because somehow it's natural to me. It's one way I love to express myself the most, and whenever I paint, the act of doing it shines a light on myself in a way that I start to think and feel about my own way of being. It reveals different layers. So it all started there. After stopping doing art for a long time, I rediscovered painting and it was so wonderful, almost indescribable. It lit that spark within me that I can feel every time I'm painting, pure joy and passion. It felt like I found myself again, my natural way of being, my true essence. There it was, exposed, without a mask. I saw light within the oblivious darkness that I was for so long without even noticing it, and suddenly the path occurred in front of me. So I began embarking on that path, a journey of finding joy. Little did I know what would await me once I took the first step. That initial joy in finding myself turned into desperation and feeling utterly disconnected like never before. That clarity and insights that I gained turned into confusion and being lost. This wonderful, gracious light that was within and around me got sucked into a dark hole that obliterated everything that wasn't alike. And it seemed like the more I walked this path of finding joy and light, the more I was confronted with darkness and confusion. Because I was only looking for joy, enthusiasm and light, I was pushing away the darkness. I was running away from it. I kept hiding because I didn't want to see it, to feel and experience it. It was just too much and overwhelming, and I didn't know how to handle it. But the more I disregarded it, the bigger it became. So there was no other way than facing it. I decided to be with the darkness, to sit with it and to accept it. Only to discover that there's no light without darkness. I cannot have one without the other. Whenever I'm trying to catch the light, darkness will follow, as they are both an essential part of that path called self-discovery. And actually, they're both valid, because they both show me more of who I truly am. Over time, this path of finding joy became a path of finding myself, or shall I rather say, being myself. And this includes all of it, light as well as darkness. From there, I wasn't only focusing on the light and joy, but also on integrating the darkness. 
Instead of fearing the dark, I welcomed it, and I began to dance with the shadows by consciously shining light on them. And every time I did that, something became clear to me. I started to pay attention to them whenever they showed up, and I listened what they had to say. And what I found was that each shadow brought to surface a part of mine that I wasn't aware of, that was hidden in my subconscious. A part that was in pain, that just wanted to be seen and heard. So I allowed myself to process that pain without getting lost in it. And I felt relief. And I was grateful for the wisdom that it held. Actually, there's lightness within all of it. When I want to bring something new to my life, in this case joy, along the journey all the parts that prevent me from living that new vision will inevitably come to surface, as they are not aligned anymore with the vision, so they will be released and in this way make room for the new to enter. It's like shedding the old skin. It's like the fundamental cycle of nature when the trees lose their leaves in fall and rest during winter in order to start a new chapter in spring. And once I understood and implemented that principle, it became easier. I mean, the darkness can still be challenging, confusing, sad and painful. All that associated emotions but I can see the beauty in it, because in the bigger picture it is all part of that journey of being alive. Thank you so much for being here and watching this video. I hope that gave you some inspiration for your own journey. I wish you a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video.